Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you my completed pages for the month of September. Um, I'm going to be showing you them in order as I've coloured them. Unfortunately, I have not done many this month. Um, it's just been a really, really bad month for me, to be fair. Um, with losing Luna and then I had my angel... Um, my angel's birthday, well, angel anniversary on the 9th of September as well. Um, I've just been feeling really, really down at the moment. Um, and it's only been the latter stages of September that I've managed to get so at least somewhat colours done. And it's been a bit like sparse throughout September, so um, yeah. We'll, we'll get started and I'll show you what I've done. I've managed to colour six pages this month, not as many as what I usually do. Um, as you know, I don't do many, you know, easy pages. I call them easy pages. Some people call them, uh, you know, just ones that you can't be bothered to do better. You know, the more uh, intricate I images to colour. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get started anyway. So the first one is from Halloween Special, uh, issue number 106, um, from the Colour in Heaven collection series. Um, and it was a buddy colour with the lovely Molly Newland. Um, so we'll turn to that page right now, which was page 13 which was this page just take that off so with this page I used let's have a look my Arteza Everblend art markers for the base layer and then I went in with white and gold acrylic paint pens and black Posca pen. Um, so you'll notice that um two minutes <laughs> the microphone keeps dropping. So let's see if I can twist it the other way. No, nope. it's just not working for me, guys. <laughs> Twisting it even more. But yeah, anyway. I used Arteza Everblend Art Markers as a base layer and then I went in with um, the white and gold acrylic paint pen. So I used my paint pen for the spider web, uh, the highlights on the, the lady, the witch, the pumpkin and the candles and a broom. And then I did go in with the uh, gold gold acrylic paint pen which is here. I don't know if you'll be, able to, you'll be able to see, but I used it there and also on a buttons and the belt buckle. I said belt buckle like a buckle on a hat. Um, so yeah, I just used it on there. It's not the best page that I've coloured. I could have done it better. I could have had a pencil, um, but I think it was just a case of I wasn't feeling the page and I just wanted to get it done. And... Uh, Obviously, I got these all buddy colours from the past month as well, so like August. And I didn't want to keep people waiting any longer, so it was just a case of just rush job <laughs> on this page. So I do apologise, Molly, but I did manage to get it finished. Um, I could have done better. I could go back in at some point and go, go in with some pencil work. But for now, it will do. So that was that page. Uh, the next page, and with that one, I sat that uh, which one that Kevin Te it's Kevin Teo's uh, page. I started it on the eighth and finished it on the eighth, so it was a quick, quick uh, buddy color. Uh, the next one is from um, Mel Pemeni Chaksa Piano Giotto's Nature Mandala's book, 
This was a body colour with the lovely Felling Nation art. Um, I think it's a, it's a different name that she's got on Instagram. Um, just try and find her. Felicia, she's called on Instagram. And uh, this was coloured on the 10th of September and finished on the 11th. Um, and I'll take you straight to it which was this page um, and with this one again I just wasn't feeling it too much when I was putting it off because this had been a buddy colour that had been arranged for, from like July time I think um, and I know Felicia asked me at some point if I'd started it and when, I, it, when I'd lost Luna um, and it had been just stuck in my drawer since and I felt really bad that I'd not got round to doing it yet. So I thought to myself, what's the easiest, best way to get it coloured in a good amount of time without it looking ridiculous? Um, so I went in with my Derwent Ink Tense pencils. Um, and then I went in with black Posca pen, white gel pen and gold acrylic paint pen. So oh, I didn't use no pencil work on this whatsoever. And you can see that it's still as bright as ever using Derwent Ink Tense. I absolutely love those pencils. Um, and you can, you know, you can gradient, grade, I'm trying to think of the word, grade, gradient, gradient with them. But you can um, go from dark to light with them. It's just making sure that you do put just the right enough water and the right enough pencil onto the paper to be able to manage to do it. Um which is where I've done it here. Yeah, I've just added red, orange, yellow, but I, I, I put enough on just to make sure that I could go from light to dark. Um, and it, it, I did, really did enjoy doing this one. To say I did it with German ink tense pencils. I really, as people know who follow me, I do struggle with uh, mandala abstract type pages. So <laughs> when Felicia did ask me to do this one, I was like, hmm. You know, I, I were getting people on Instagram to pick the page um, because I've found that when I get others to pick the page, um, it's not necessarily pages that I'd colour myself, you know, that I'd go to and actually colour it. Um, so it was really nice in that way that they were picking pages that I wouldn't necessarily colour. And then they turned out to be really good pages and I really did enjoy the, doing them. Like I said, I enjoyed doing this one, even though I'm not an abstract type person or mandala type person. And I did struggle with finding colours that I wanted to incorporate into this page. Um, and I think I did look at someone else's page. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember who it were. And um, I've not even wrote it down in my book, but I did uh, look on Instagram. No, not Instagram. Uh, google for some inspiration um but i think the seahorse was my idea i, I saw these fishes on, on someone else's um and I, I just incorporated the fish colors into the seaweed so that they'll you know integrate with those um but yeah i really did enjoy it and i used the gold acrylic paint pen around the circle bit here i don't know if you'll be able to see it in the light um but i just think it gives it that bit of touch i were i were <laughs> i was going to uh use the glossy accent here to give it that dome look you know like when you're looking through those glass domes at her, uh, aquariums I wanted to give it that dome look, but I thought I'm not going to do it because I think with it being Derwent Ink Tense, it would probably do something with those. Um, so I thought, no, just leave it as it is. But that's what my idea were. I might come back to that at a later date if I can find something to put on it to stop the Derwent Ink Tense running. But I don't think that'll be a wise choice. I'll probably just end up ruining it, so... Uh, but yeah, that's that page and like I said, I did enjoy doing it. I started it on the 10th and finished it on the 11th and it was a really, really good one to do. So that's that one.
The next one I did was from Rooms of Wonder by Joanna Bashford, which was this page. Oh, get off my finger. <coughs> so it was this page. Um, so with this one, I used my Prismas, Neo Colour 2s, White Gel Pen, Gold Acrylic Pen and Nuvo Drops. I started it on the 13th and finished it on the 15th and it was a buddy colour. What was it with? Should I find? I've not even wrote it down. Oh, M Colours on Instagram. Um, I'm sure it's a different name though. Let's just have a look. Um, yeah, Mallory. Um, I've done a couple of buddies with Mallory before. Um, but yeah, I think we arranged this for uh, back in July. And we we're going to, I was going to, supposed to be finishing it for August. But with everything going on, um, I didn't get around to doing it. And then I thought to myself, I need to get them done um, soon. So uh, yeah. And with this one, like I said, I use my Prismas for uh, like the leaves, uh, these rainbow colours down here, um, the rocks, the wheat seaweed and stuff. Um, and then I use my gold acrylic paint pen for the uh, framework. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it goes all the way around the framework even the this part of the frame as well and this part and then i don't know if you'll be able to see properly but um those little balls at the either, either side these ones so the bought these balls and then the chandelier and these shells here and that little ball these here they're all different colored uh nuvo Nuvo drops. I wanted to give it that real good um, sh seashell look, you know, pearls and stuff. And it was the only thing I could use to add to the uh, page. And I used the gold on the window panes as well as the clock face, the treasure chest, and the door as well. Um, I really did enjoy doing this page, and I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as what I did. Um, when I first saw it, Paige, when Mallory asked me to do it, um, I was really, really hesitant. Um, and, well, I, I just didn't feel drawn to the page at all, but I'm glad I did do it in the end. I just used my Neo Colour tools on, um, I think it was just the water in the background, uh, maybe on the rocks as well, and then I went in with pencil. And on, on this rock as well, but everything else with pencil. But yeah, another another one I really did enjoy. So thank you for that, Mallory. Then it's this one. This one again is a more detailed page that I also uh, felt a bit uncomfortable about doing. But the lovely Elizabeth, um, I forgot what, her, hold on a second. Uh, her name is E-E-L-I-U-K slash Fabulous Florals and Fauna uh, at Fine Art and Studio on Instagram. Um, her proper name's Elizabeth. But uh, yeah, uh, this was a buddy colour with the lovely Elizabeth. So this is a name on Instagram. So you can find her if you wish to. And um, like I said, I, I did see when Elizabeth picked this page to colour, again, just like the Rooms of Wonder, when I saw it, I thought, mm, this seems to be a bit too much for me. Like, there's too much going on. And I couldn't distinguish what was what. Um, and then the lovely Elizabeth sent her picture over, which was absolutely magnificent. I'll put a picture right here. 
Um, but yeah, I had to look at Elizabeth's to get a little bit of idea of what's what, and then I could figure out, figure my way around things. Um, and I used uh, my Prismas, white gel pen, black Unipin pen, and glossy accents. Um, obviously, you can see that I use the white gel pen for the to for the toadstools. Is it? Um, I also added little bits of white to the berries. Bring it a little bit closer so i've used white gel pen on the toadstools white gel pen and glossy accent on his little eyes and nose um and then white gel pen just on the berries just to give that give it a little bit of light sauce um and then with the little bits of what do they call them now little trinkets that's inside the picture um such as the book um, and then there's a little badge, a wand, a ruler, uh, a little screw, a key key tag thing, um, uh, one of those, I forgot what they call them, slingshots <laughs> and then there's like a, a picture frame uh, and there's something else here as well but I don't know what that is. But I've incorporated them into the picture, so you can't, you can't really tell that they're there. Um, I think a lot, like a lot of other uh, colorists, um, we do struggle with the little bit of trinkets, and that's why a lot of people don't color uh, these type of books anymore. Um, they prefer the whole pages where there's no bits and bobs to color as well. I'm try I think there's a protractor there as well, uh, and something there. But I've tried to incorporate it into picture so that they don't ruin it. Um, I also used... Oh, no, I didn't, actually. I thought I used Pan Pastel for the background, but I used the Prismas and used a... a go on. A blender pencil to blend it out to make it look lighter. Um, but, yeah, I really did enjoy doing that one in all fairness and I started it on the 18th and finished it on the 21st um and I really I really like him he's really really cute and I got I've actually got uh my dear friend Emily Peel she's uh she's wanting it now <laughs> she's wanting this coloring book and then I just stuck a bit of washi tape around the edge just to give it that bit of a gardeny feel um I've just used the whole tape on that bit and then I cut it in half on that on the size because the tape was too, far too wide for the page, but it didn't matter. So yeah, that's the first I think that's the first page I've coloured in this book, to be fair. So thank you again, Elizabeth, for asking me to buddy colour with you. I look forward to the next one. Uh, so I can take this washi tape off now to so that I've coloured a page in this book. Yay! Way to go, me! So, the next one is from my folders. Not that one. This one. It's from Fairy and Fantasy 2. Now, this is a project colouring book. Um, with the lovely Emily Peel, my bestie. Um, we have been doing this probably for about nine, ten months, I think, something like that, and we've not done many pages, to be fair. Um, we've done one. Hold on. Two, three, four, five... Six. Six out of about 25 pages. Um, but obviously for this month. Which one was it now? It's these ones. It's these ones. Um, I'm not going to take them out of the wallet, but I'm going to just put them at an angle. So the light's not on it properly, properly. Um, so 
the one I coloured first was this one, um, which is the lovely Wood Elfling. I'm going to leave the light like I'm going to leave it there because of the light source. Um, but yeah, I coloured this one and I haven't actually wrote it down in my, in my book, actually. Um, so, naughty me. So, I, it's seven pages I've coloured this month. But uh, I know for a fact I've used my Faber-Castell Polies, uh, my black Unipin pen, my white gel pen and the uh, lovely Pan Pastels for the background. Um, she was an actual labour of love, as uh, as same as this one. I've loved colouring both of these pages this month. Um, and Emily's coloured some fabulous pages too. So, uh, yeah. And with this one, I used Faber Castell Polies. She's got to be my favourite this year so far. In fact, I've got quite a few favourites. Um, but I used Faber Castell Polies, uh, Pan Pastel for the background, uh, white acrylic paint pen, which is uh, just some of these. Um, these are uh, acrylic paint markers and the water base, so they can be used on anything. Um, and it says that it's pigment ink, strong covering for sunproof and waterproof. Um, so yeah, it's just basically like using your Posca, Posca pens. Uh, and they work really well. They're better than the uh, standard gel pens that I use, which is these ones. So they come in handy. And then I use my black Unipin pen for her eyes. Um, I used a smaller nibbed I think it was this that I got from Claire. So just a, a highlighter white pen for the lips and her eyes. Uh, what else? I think that's it really. Oh, and me uh, acrylic paint pens. Again, just like the white one. Um, you've got to give them a really good shake because they do lose the... Because uh, it's acrylic, they go a little bit funny. Uh, but you've got to shake, shake them up and that's what the, uh, let's see if I can show you. I used the gold and silver. So in the light source you can just about see the gold band and then the silver moon. And then I used the white, same same one from the gold and the silver, the white one for the sparkles um, <coughs> around and I, I, in fact, I added these because I did use um, Christine Karen's page for inspiration because uh, I just love her page. Uh, but she's got different coloured air, so like rainbow coloured air, but I just coloured it blonde. Um, and on original picture, I didn't know that. Uh, did it have? No, on, on on the picture that I, I'd seen, it didn't have the white dots, but then I saw another page that had, actually had white dots. But uh, I added these extra because they weren't on this page. So, but yeah, one of my favourite pages this month. Um, we've already picked out two that we're going to colour, which is already tagged at the top. So I look forward to showing you those at the end of next month. So that was that one. And then last but not least, which is the one that I've finished today, is from uh, Christine Karen's Worlds Through uh, Characters Through Worlds and Times. This is a project colouring book with the lovely Charlotte, which is Binx's Binx, Binx's colourings on Instagram. Uh, so this is one that we've I got to buddy colour together. I've literally just finished this one today. Uh, obviously, I'm recording this on the 30th of September, so I'll not get as other one that we've got planned. It's the uh, this one, which is Jester, I've got to do, but I'm not going to get that done today. <laughs> so that'll be for next month's uh, completed pages. Uh, she was an absolute labour of love. Another one, in fact, I just love Christine Karen's work. As, pe as my uh, subscribers know, Christine's one of my favourite colour colouring artists. Um, I just love her work um, and with this page I just use media, my mediums were Faber Castell Polies, Faber Castell Pastels, Black Unipin Pen and White Gel Pen 
Um, I started it yesterday, the 29th, and finished it today, which is the 30th. Um, and again, she's just been a labour of love. I did start this on live stream, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, so you'll be able to see the process of me colouring her skin. Um, so yeah, a really, really enjoyable page to colour. And like I said, I've got the uh, this one to colour, but it'll be for next month. Um, and then I've got a couple of tags for my next ideas for as next body colour. So yeah really really enjoyed colouring her so guys that is all i have for this month unfortunately i have no more pages to show you but if you managed to watch this far thank you so much um if you hang on for a little longer i'll show you the end of month uh scavenger hunt pages from uh facebook and instagram everybody's done some fabulous pages this month so if you can just hang on and just have a a, a little peek at those only three minutes of your time or roughly um so yeah hang on and just give it a quick watch if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate your support um i just want to say thank you so much to everybody that subscribed to me i've hit the 2k subscribers mark i'm absolutely blown away um thank you for continuing to support me it really does mean a heck of a lot i am in the process of making a a lovely little uh giveaway bundle uh everybody will be included so keep your eyes peeled on the community tab for that going up at some point this this next month uh let me catch my breath <laughs> but yeah if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate your support even further and uh, I just want to say to you all, have a wonderful rest of your week ahead and take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.